What's up everyone today? Uh, we are going to be setting up a Synology uh, DS120J uh, network attached storage or NAS system. Uh, I did a video a few months ago, back in April or something, and I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, so I'm going to make another one today. I know, well, how to set it up now at least. So first step is to open up your, uh, your NAS. Your network attached storage. Uh, you have two screws in the back. Already removed those, and you just gotta slide this uh, part forward, and it's off. Now you want to line up your hard drive. I have I have a five terabyte uh, Seagate Barracuda. Um, it is it is converted to a three and a half inch with this adapter I bought. But you could just buy a three and a half inch drive uh, by itself. I just found this lying around. You know, uh, actually I. I salvage it from an old hard drive that the controller, an external hard drive, the controller wasn't working right, so I just salvaged the drive from it. So there you go. It is partially installed. Now it's time to connect well, all five uh, screws. So those go like here. There's one of them. Oh, shoot. hit the camera. One screw. Yeah, there's five of them. They just go at each uh, side of the hard drive. Three on the Three on one side, two on the other. It depends what you call right and left. It depends which side you're, you're looking at. It's left and right. One more. Just so it won't fall out or anything. Gotta tighten it all the way. Now that your hard drive installed, next up you wanna put the cover right back on the way you found it. Like so. And finally, reinstall the two screws at the back. There are some optional upgrades you can do, such as like the fan I installed there. It's just a three pin, uh, 60 millimeter, I believe. This one's a Noctua brand. Another one is actually a heat sink for the CPU and RAM because uh, they're, they don't have anything, like any cooling, any means of cooling. Like CPU is just exposed out, you know? It's just like, it's just out there and the RAM as well. Uh, so I, I bought some heat sinks, but I won't be installing in this video because all I need to show you is how to set this thing up. So on the back of it, you have, of course, the fan, and below it, you have a, a network port, which is a LAN, Ethernet, whatever you want to call it. And below that, you have two USB ports for connecting other external drives, and of course, power. So you want to hook this up to your router and this to the power. So once you do that, You'll want to head over your computer. All right, now that you're at your computer, after plugging it into your router and to power, you'll want to go to find.synology.com. As I do in the task bar, I mean in the <laughs> search bar. There, there it is, find.synology.com. Sorry about the shaky camera. Uh, there it is. So now it's gonna search for a NAS that's on the network. Searching. I already plugged mine in and uh, connected to my router. So there it is, my DS120J status is not installed, so we're gonna connect. So you'll wanna agree to that. And you wanna click set up. 
says install the latest DSM, which is the um, operating system. So you just want to click install now. Understand that all the hard, all the data on these hard disks will be removed. That's okay because it's empty. Now it's installing the disk station manager. That's the DSM for Synology. So you're just gonna wait till it's done installing. So I'm gonna actually pause the camera now. Uh, and I'll get back to you once it's done. All right, so uh, once your server has finished, been finished setting up, uh, installing the OS and stuff like that, uh, setting itself up, you know. Now you want to put in all the information that it's going to need to run. So for example, server name, let's just call it the Synology DS120J. Yep, that's right. Um, and username will be admin and password. Yeah, go away. I'm going to change the password later. Um, I don't need it to tell me anything. All right, so hit next. All right, there you go. Um, now, I don't think I need this, it's too. I don't think I need it, but if you want to do it, I think. Uh, you'll need to set up to remotely access this over the internet. Yeah, I don't need it. Recommended packages. So I really didn't need all these because I just need to store files there. So I'm going to skip this. Although you could install these apps. Guess so. So I can, uh, I don't know. If you want. Okay, so it'll automatically update, it looks like. Mm, sure, whatever. All right, so now your server is set up and you can do whatever you want with it. And the final thing I wanna show you guys is how to uh, connect to it from a PC. So I'll show you that in a second after I finish setting this up. That's all you really need to do. You just need to get the uh, IP address yeah, I'll show you in a second. All right, guys. Uh, so here is how to uh, to connect to your network drive. So you want to go to File Explorer, to the uh, Windows Explorer, actually. Click on this PC, all right? You want to click on this PC. And under the tab Computer, you'll want to click on Map Network Drive. That's this one right here where my mouse pointer is. Once you click on that, you'll get this screen. So let me zoom in on that. Under this screen, you'll want to type in, well, for example, the server, which in this case is Synology NAS. And then the, the folder inside that server you want to connect to, which is, well, also Synology NAS. So here's what we'll be doing. To uh, backslash, and then type in the name. All right, there's one, now another. Actually, uh, that should be capital, but S should be capital. All right, sorry about the shaky camera, and I don't have a camera stand yet, a tripod. 
And now, uh, if it's different from your Windows login credentials, you'll want to select Connect use di Using Different Credentials. Click Finish. There's my username, admin, and I'll type in my password. I'll hit Remember My Credentials. It'll, it'll ask for it again, so just do that. And now, you are connected. There it is. It is on your computer. You do the same process on any other Windows computer. Mac is a little different, but uh, you can start that up easily. I don't have one to show you, really. Uh, so yeah, there it is. There's nothing on here, obviously. It's pretty much brand new. So yeah, uh, that is how you install, or kind of mount, actually, your Synology NAS drive onto your Windows PC. Thanks for watching. Well, this part, well, Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.